these are my paints I already added to my plate this one metallic black and color shifting I guess what's it called a uh, black flash and just plain black paint Paint is right there. And this guy is going to be painted first. Okay, there he is. About 90% painted. I say 90 because I need that piece of his leg to hold on to. Sorry for my table, I've got all his mess on there. Yeah, some of these buildings actually were made for me by my Facebook friend. Steven Mashad, who's in the group, I believe. Steven did a great job, dude. Love the buildings. Anyways, getting back to the Muto. There he is. This is a leg that is not painted, but should take me less than a minute. Let's get back to it. This is just the base layer. Once it's fully dry, I will add all the details that I want. It's not going to be 100% movie accurate because I want to add my own unique touches to it. But it's not going to be too drastic, or it will not be unrecognizable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's almost done. I like to add a lot of paint to it, that way it's very difficult for it to flake off. I don't use primer at all. Never have. I don't think I ever will. I just don't... I've never liked the the idea of adding paint and then... I mean primer and then paint over it. Just figure, just get down to it. Alright. Another reason I like to add lots of paint to my figures when I do a repaint is due to the fact that I take them out to the park, places where they might receive a little bit of abuse as far as like rocks, debris, branches, or whatever. And that way it makes the paint harder to come off. And he's done. There he is. Base coat, that is. I'm going to set my brush over here. Just finished mixing the paint. Now let's start applying it. This is a female Muto, by the way, in case you didn't notice.
There is no technique that I'm using. I'm just like layering it on thick. Right here is going to be a tricky part. Right here. But should be all right. Okay. Add some water to my paint. That what you hear in the background is going to be the soundtrack to my next stop motion film, which I hope to get done pretty soon. I have way too many art projects that I've left unfinished. really need to get back to doing stop motion and the main guy will be this guy right here yep all right anyway let's get back to the painting there she is almost done also That's the leg that I need. Yep. I think they look pretty cool. Oh, be right back when she's done. Okay. She's basically done. Yeah, she's still a little bit wet right there from the feet. <laughs> and they don't really scale too well with the 2014 Godzilla. But they still look pretty cool. Here's the male Muto. Try some other figures for comparison. Here's the SHMA Kong. Let's try another Godzilla.
poster version. Yeah. Let's try another one. This one is more in scale with them. There we go. I believe that's the third form of Shin Godzilla. Yep. They actually do scale pretty well with this guy. And one last figure. There we go. This guy. The special color version Millennium Godzilla. Yep. They all pretty much tower over these guys, but I don't care. They look pretty cool. Well, I'm gonna let them dry completely before I actually start adding details to it. I will not be making a video of the details because I really need to focus on what I want to do to the faces especially, but I will be posting pictures on the Godzilla groups. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this.